everything inside me. Situated at the top of the Palms Hotel in Las Vegas, the Empathy Suite costs $100,000 per night and is reserved for elite guests. It is filled with creepy and disturbing art that hints to the possibly terrible things that happen in there. Here's a look at the most expensive hotel room in the world. Take a second and picture in your mind the most expensive hotel room in the world. Did you picture pills, butterflies and medical waste everywhere? Probably not. Because you are probably not a psychopath. Well, the most expensive hotel room in the world is actually filled with pills, butterflies and medical waste. And dead animals. Because this place was clearly made for psychopaths. The Empathy Suite of the Palms Hotel in Las Vegas combines colorful kitty designs with pills and opioids. It doesn't take a great deal of imagination to picture what this place was designed for. Here's a top comment from a YouTube video touring the Empathy Suite. Just by looking at pictures of the place, one gets a visceral gut feeling of pure foulness. And, when one understands the symbolism of the occult elite, that feeling gets worse. Because one can only imagine what actually happens there. One of the selling points of the Empathy Suite is that it features exclusive works of art by Damien Hirst, who happens to be one of the occult elite's favorite artists. Therefore, in order to fully understand the spirit of this hotel room, we need to take a quick look at Damien Hirst and his body of work. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. This photo shows Damien Hirst does the one-eye sign using a skull in Interview magazine. That sums up everything you need to know about him. Damien Hirst is reportedly the richest living artist in the UK with wealth estimated at £215 million. Throughout his career, Hearst was supported by extremely rich and powerful people such as Charles Saatchi, an Iraqi British Jewish businessman who founded Saatchi and Saatchi, the world's largest advertising agency in the 1980s. Right from the start of his career, Hearst's works revolved around the theme of death. One of his first works of art is a picture of him smiling next to a severed head. He soon became famous for a series of artworks in which dead animals, including sharks, sheep, and cows, are preserved, sometimes having been dissected, in formaldehyde. Hearst often combines his morbid subjects with Christian themes to create rather blasphemous works of art. The piece titled God Only Knows features three dead sheep that are crucified the same way Jesus was crucified with two thieves. And this is the piece titled God Knows Why consists of a sheet that was crucified on an inverted cross. Pure satanic inversion. This is Adam and Eve under the table, features two actual human skeletons laying on the floor under empty bottles and random garbage. This piece is called Devil Worshipper. As you can see, it is an inverted pentagram, the favorite symbol of Satanists and the occult elite. It is entirely made of dead flies. This is a close-up of one of Hearst's many works made of dead flies. Hearst is also known for creating vitrines, which are usually made of an assortment of objects inside glass compartments. This one contains an operating table on which sits a sewing machine. What kind of horrific procedure is going on here? So, the people at the Palms Hotel saw this stuff, and said, we need them to decorate our most sumptuous spaces right now. For starters, they bought a 60-foot sculpture made by Hearst, titled, Demon with Bull. Guests at the Palms Hotel can relax around a giant headless demon. If you're wondering where's the head, it exposed somewhere else. Here it is. The head of the demon is a separate piece. So this is the mindset of the artist who decorated the Empathy Suite. As you might expect, that suite was made by the Occult Elite, for the Occult Elite.
Located at the very top of the Palms Hotel in Las Vegas, the Empathy Suite is the crown jewel of the hotel's massive $700 million renovation project. Sprawling over 9,000 square feet and divided into two floors, the suite goes for $100,000 per night, with a two-night minimum. One cannot simply go online and book this suite. One needs to apply, and the hotel will make sure that you can afford the place, and that you fit the right profile. So what makes this hotel room so special and exclusive? What kind of profile does it cater to? Just look at the pics, and it will become obvious. This is one of the many living rooms of the Empathy Suite. The general theme of the suite is centered around pills and butterflies. They are everywhere, to the point that it is overwhelming. And, to regular viewers of this channel, this combination of symbols points strongly to a specific and horrific direction, which happens to be one of the occult elite secret obsessions. Monarch Programming The goal of Monarch Programming, an offshoot of MK Ultra, is to create mind-controlled slaves through the use of trauma and heavy drugs. The main symbol used to identify this program is the Monarch Butterfly. The room is all about drugs and butterflies. And, as they say, the devil is in the details. Near the entrance is a medicine cabinet. Why is there a medicine cabinet in the main living area? Because it is actually a work of art by Damien Hirst titled Vegas. The dining room is also all about pills and butterflies. The display in the dining room contains thousands of pills. It is another Hearst piece titled Money. Across from the dining room is a massive bar. The bar can seat over a dozen people. Guess what is under the see-through glass? Medical waste. The bar contains all kinds of tubes, syringes, pill wrappers, and other items associated with surgeries and medical procedures. Is that the type of stuff you want to be looking at while taking a drink? What if you looked up? There's dead fish above the bar. On the other side of the bar are a massive balcony and a heated pool. The creepiness continues there. The balcony overlooks Las Vegas is all about pills and butterflies. Not unlike the rest of the suite, the multicolored discs on the pillars give the area a preschool, daycare kind of vibe. The view is ruined by stickers of pills. Good thing you only spent $100,000 per night to stay there. Are you ready to visit the second floor? Just go up the butterfly stairs. This is the staircase leading to the two bedrooms of the suite. The bedrooms of the suite are in perfect continuation with the theme of the suite. The main bedroom is also all about pills and butterflies. Next to the bathroom is a massage table. And more butterflies. And the wallpaper is all about pills. Another high-end amenity of the Empathy Suite is the salt room, where one can partake in halotherapy. Surely, this place of relaxation is devoid of creepy symbolism? Wrong. If you look closely at the wall, there's a skull on the left, and a butterfly on the right. Are you relaxed yet? Even without knowledge of the twisted symbolism of the occult elite, the Empathy Suite sends off a disturbing vibe. The colors, the butterflies, and the medical paraphernalia is reminiscent to the pediatric section of a hospital. However, the generous seating areas, combined with all kinds of swings, just scream out sex orgy. The combination of the two equals Epstein Island, but in Las Vegas. The fact that this weed is called Empathy is the cherry on the proverbial Sunday. It is an ironic name. It is an example of the sick and twisted sense of humor of the elite. This place emits the exact opposite energy. In fact, it appears to be custom made to disturb, traumatize, and even terrify people who took drugs in there, and probably against their will. Imagine young people who are drugged out of their minds and who are forced to dwell in that place. In that context, the most expensive hotel room in the world quickly becomes the stuff of nightmares. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. 
apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.